Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShot.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial that I've made for uh, for a clap-on, clap-off circuit using your Arduino. Now I've got my an IC Arduino Arduino shield hooked up to my Arduino Uno right now, and that's because I've got a prototyping area uh, for an external circuit. Now for this circuit, all you're going to need is an LED, a resistor uh, between 300 and 600 ohms for, uh, as a current limiter for your LED, uh, a 0.1 microfarad ceramic capacitor, two 10k ohm resistors, and an, an electret microphone. And I'm going to show you the schematic in just a minute. But all this does is it's a toggle switch. And the code that I'm going to show you in a bit uh, is is uh, very 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 simple, uh, and it's all commented out, so it makes it should make perfect sense. You can easily calibrate the sensitivity just by changing uh, two numbers in the code. So. It's very easy to put together yourself. Let's talk about the schematic. The schematic is very simple. We've got essentially two little circuits here. We've got our LED circuit. We connect the uh, pin 2 from our Arduino to a 332, well, 300 to 600 ohm resistor uh, to an LED. And uh, the secondary, the, the cathode of the LED is connected to ground. So when a positive signal is applied here, the LED will turn on. Uh, so where we've got our pin 2 from our Arduino set as an output so that will control the LED. Now the audio circuit, it's extremely simple, four components. We've got our electro microphone, two 10k ohm resistors, and a 0.1 microfarad ceramic capacitor. Now some electret mics have uh, a positive and negative. Some condenser mics uh, don't, they aren't polarized, but the one I'm using specifically has a positive. Uh, so I connect that to this 10k ohm resistor, which is tied between the 5 volt well, line of the Arduino, and the positive of the mic, the secondary of the mic is connected to ground. And then what we do is we add a capacitor in between a, a ceramic non-polarized capacitor uh, between the mic and the A0 line. And we add a pull-down resistor of 10K to bleed off any uh, uh, line capacitance or input capacitance on the A0 line. Uh, this component uh, isn't overly, ne overly necessary, but um, it is good to have a, a resistor there. You don't want for it to be too low. 10K works for me. Uh, anyway, so when you make a clap or a loud noise, what happens is the DC element, or the DC component rather, on the left hand side is completely blocked off by the capacitor. But what happens is when you clap, a little AC signal uh, is basically coupled across this capacitor. So with no noise, we should see, with uh, no like audio, we should see next to no voltage here, except for maybe a tiny bit of line noise, but not likely because this 10k pass capacitor or a resistor rather, will bleed that off. But as soon as you clap, we'll see a very, very tiny audio signal couple across here, and we're going to have our A0 line read that. So let's have a quick look at the code. The code is very simple. Let's start at the top. We have to uh, set a an, an integer called analog value, and this is where we'll store the uh, audio clap to digital value. Um, we're going to define uh, our LED pin as uh, uh, pin 2 on the Arduino Uno. We're going to create a, bo a boolean function called toggle and we're going to set it to false right off the bat as soon as you power up your program. And then in the void setup we have a uh, we set our uh, LED output pin uh, we set it as an output. Serial begin 9600 that's this is just kind of an extra step that you don't need to take it's in case you want to use the serial monitor to help calibrate your sensitivity. We'll get to that in just a minute. In the void loop, there's one large if and else statement. And this is where the Boolean function toggle comes in. Uh, because it starts out as false, the if statement uh, will perform, but the else will not. And it turns the LED off, takes an analog, uh, takes a reading on the analog read pin 0, A0, on the Arduino Uno and stores it in the analog value integer. And then what it does is it, there's another uh, sub if statement. If the analog value taken uh, is more than 8, then what happens is uh, toggle is turned from false to true. We serial print uh, to the serial monitor the value stored in analog value, the audio uh, to digital value, and we do a, two, a 200 millisecond delay. And the reason for this delay is essentially so that the clap sound has enough time to elapse. Uh, otherwise, we would just toggle on and off really, really, really fast and many times every clap. 
So because analog and because toggle, the Boolean function toggle, has turned from false to true, what happens is in the loop again, at the beginning it says if toggle is false, then perform the if statement. But because it's now true, instead of performing the if statement, it performs, uh, performs the else statement below, which is almost identical to the if statement above. In that else statement, uh, we did we turn on the LED by performing a digital write to the LED pin. We do we take another uh, an, uh, analog reading of the audio signal, and if that analog value is more than eight, then it uh, changes the boolean function toggle to false again. Serial prints the analog value taken from the A0 line and prints it to the serial monitor, and another 200 millisecond delay. Now because toggle is false again, the if statement is then performed, not the else statement. So it toggles back and forth based on the logic on the boolean function toggle. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, all you need to do is take the uh, the code below. I'll be placing a link to the script script below. Load it into your Arduino Uno. Perform the circuit, uh, or sorry, create the circuit that I just talked about. And it really shouldn't take you more than 10-15 minutes if you have the right hardware. And really, the hardware costs less than a dollar if you find a good place. So that's uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope this uh, helped. And one thing to mention, you don't need to use this to toggle an LED. You can use this to toggle uh, a relay if you have a relay board. Uh, or if you have a transistor, a diode, and a relay, that's really all you need. That and an extra 10k ohm resistor. I've got tutorials that include relays if you want to know more about them. But really, we're just using the LED as an indicator for this specific video. But you can do a lot more with this. So it's up to you. So that's it. Hopefully uh, you can make your own with relative ease. I'll also be placing this on Instructables.com. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out our current Kickstarter campaign, campaign below. Uh, I've put a link there in case you're interested. And uh, as always, I appreciate your time. I hope this helped some of you. Thanks again.